JT. Welcome to another episode of Smash JT, and do we have a fun episode in store for you today here. My buddy 8-Bit Eric and I got together and we wanted to talk about the top 5 things we want to see out of Breath of the Wild 2. After Nintendo's Direct over E3, showing the reveal trailer, the teaser of what Breath of the Wild 2 is going to present to the end users and sparking a big debate of a ton of different things surrounding it, what the world's going to look like, who you even play as, tons of different stuff with it, Eric and I got together and we're like, let's make a list of our top five things that we want to see in Breath of the Wild 2. How this is going to work is Eric's going to give his five on my channel and I'm going to give my reaction to them and my five will be over on his channel. A link for that will be at the end of this video and in the description below. Make sure to check it out. So without further ado, I'm going to send it over to Eric to let you guys know what he thinks. Hey everybody, I'm 8-Bit Eric, and special thanks to Smash JT for having me appear on his channel. It's an honor, I'm very excited about this collab, and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. So, let's go ahead and begin with my things that I want to see in the Breath of the Wild sequel. Now, number five is I want more things to do in Hyrule. New things, you know, Breath of the Wild was awesome. It was probably the biggest version of Hyrule we ever had in a game. So much to do, but it just felt so barren. It, it Sure, it had a huge open world, but what good is that if there's not much interaction with anything i want the world to feel alive i want more randomness i want more npc encounters more interactiveness with stuff uh more side hobbies you know there's fishing cooking and stuff like that but i want more hunting i want more crafting i want you know all sorts of randomness i want this game to have so much life like likeness that it really feels that you're living a second life in this i want this to feel like a legitimate open world triple a game that nintendo never has on their consoles i want this to be big that's a really good call as far as more things to do that was one of the aspects of breath of the wild that i really felt fell short oftentimes i was roaming around the game world just looking for areas of where the enemy spawn points were the camps what they had set up and looking for treasures there and what i could find and then I'd run through vast valleys of grass and climbing mountains what seemed like forever before finding something else. And while there was a charm to that in exploration and adventure, it would have definitely been much more beneficial to the gamer to have more interaction in the game world, more surprises, more secrets, so much stuff that you wouldn't even be able to look it up through an online guide. You'd have to be forced to explore and find every nook and cranny yourself because it would be impossible to have an online guide tell you exactly where to go for everything. That would be fantastic. My next point is if Ganon is indeed coming back, I want Ganon to be more prominent. I want him more in depth. I want more characterization. I want him to be a huge presence in this game like i want to hear voice acting from ganon i want characterization i want character development i want to see this charismatic individual that they say ganondorf is when he's in gerudo valley you know ruling the land and stuff i want to see how he progresses to become the head honcho in charge you know in breath of the wild the first one we kind of just saw kind of like a mysterious you know specter like type of character I, I want the exact opposite if he's going to be a character i want him to be straight in the spotlight like i want more ganon in this game than ever like i want him to be like the new sephiroth <laughs> Another fantastic point, Eric. That was one of my biggest issues with Breath of the Wild is the storyline. While there were some storytelling moments along the way after you defeated some of the end bosses in the dungeons, the whole Ganon thing was like a mystery. And as you played through the game, I thought that mystery might unravel and reveal a whole lot more about him, but it never really did. It was just kind of like, here's the end boss, it's Ganon and he's in this castle great but i'd love to know more about the lore like you said when he's in gerudo valley and how he got henchmen and all these enemies on his side how his evil works with the triforce and just a lot more storytelling the actual game world itself was fine but the storytelling was lackluster and with the technology we got today with video games this is the perfect opportunity for nintendo to explore much deeper lore with the zelda series and 
and I have a feeling you might be onto something with Breath of the Wild 2. I think this one is going to have a lot more storyline packed into it. Now, Smash touched on this just a little bit. He wants more dungeons. I agree with that, but I want more in-depth dungeons, more traditional style dungeons, but I want these to be humongous. I want these dungeons to take hours. I want these to be quality dungeons, not not like a hundred different dungeons that are small. I want like a good solid maybe 10, 15, 20 dungeons that take hours to complete with branching paths. Like for example, let's say the first dungeon in the game, there's a path A that you can only take because you don't have access to like a B or a C area. And in order to go to B, maybe hours later into the game, you get one little item that'll allow you to go to that section. And then maybe later on, even more further into the game, you can get to path C. Like I want certain areas of the dungeons to not be accessible until hours later into the game, basically. I want like three dungeons in each one, <laughs> you know, like a path A, path B, and path C. I want huge sprawling dungeons that interconnect and wove and just like have so much to do inside of them, like Skyrim. This is something, like you said, we definitely agree on. While I said I wanted more dungeons and talk about that in further detail, I do agree that the dungeons that exist could be a bit bigger. I don't know if I necessarily want them to be hours long. Maybe one of them, like the final dungeon, that would be pretty badass, having it explore that big of an area and having interconnecting parts, making it truly a challenge to get through. But the ability to have a larger dungeon and using the game world to do that, there is a lot of potential here. With that, it's something that Breath of the Wild, the original one, while a fantastic game, like I say all the time, still my favorite Nintendo Switch game that's available, was not perfect and that is another one of the areas where I feel like other Zelda games, I'm thinking back to Link to the Past or Ocarina of Time, doing much larger dungeons and having more of them, that would be something that would please a tremendous amount of the Zelda faithful out there. Now, we're all used to being on horses in these Zelda games. You know, Epona, a staple in the Zelda series and then Skyward Sword, we had like the flying thing, which I would like to go back to that. In fact, I would like Link to have several different types of mounts in these games. I would like him to have access to all sorts of creatures. You know, what if he has like some kind of like creature that lets you swim in the ocean, like a dolphin or something, or some kind of sea monster, or a monkey, or a big gorilla or something. I want different mounts, and I, I wouldn't mind the flying aspect coming back either. Maybe, you know, throwing a little bit of the Skyward Sword type of gameplay mechanic into this game. I want this to really legitimately feel like an open world game, like some of these huge games that we have on PC, or or even on PlayStation 4 or Xbox where you're able to have different types of mounts. I don't want it to just be limited to a horse. Dude, totally agree with you on this one. That's something that, again, Breath of the Wild had horses that you could try to tame. And later on with the downloadable content, they had the motorcycle that you could obtain later on. But ultimately, it was pretty lacking when it came to mounts and what you could ride in the game. Flying mechanics would be an absolute hit if there was something to go across the entire game world above ground with that would really change the game up instead of needing to fast travel or anything like that maybe using the flying mechanic and speeding through with that this there's, there's a lot of possibilities with this the swimming through the ocean thing totally agree that would be another one in Zora's domain maybe you could get one of those guys to use as a ride on mechanic would be a lot of fun and definitely change up the mechanics make it a lot more interactive make you feel more a part of the game world which ultimately Aponia did a good job with back in the N64 days but now that we're into the new era of Zelda it would be nice to have a variety far more than what they offered with the original Breath of the Wild. And last but not least this is based off of a rumor that Zant is involved in this story. I want a better more action-packed hardcore story that connects maybe with Twilight Princess. I think that would be really cool. It's a beloved franchise that has great games but Twilight Princess has always resonated with a lot of people, especially with Midna. And I feel that Breath of the Wild, while it did have a good plot overall, it just didn't really have that much in-depth of a story that connected with us on an emotional level. I would like Midna to somehow be involved with this, Zant, Twilight Princess, and just have a huge emotional journey and connection to it. Like a huge 
better story, cinematics, everything. I think that would be my ultimate wish list. Twilight Princess connecting with Breath of the Wild. Now that's something that I hadn't really considered until you brought it up, but it does make a tremendous amount of sense. Now I know Nintendo doesn't typically like to intertwine these Zelda games with one another. They like to have them stand upon in their own right, and each Link, they say, is not really the same Link as other ones most of the time. It's a confusing timeline if you even try to figure that one out. But ultimately, yes, I agree. Not necessarily it has to be with Twilight Princess, though that would probably make the most sense with the storyline, but connecting Breath of the Wild's world with another Zelda game would instantly give it a tremendous amount of lore that they were lacking in the original. And having the sequel, they could add in a bunch of connecting pieces that would make sense of it. Especially if you look at the trailer underground in this cavern, maybe, and I'm talking a little bit about what I say in Eric's video, but Maybe part of the game world, a big chunk of it, might be underground, and maybe that's where they discover a lot of the lore that was missing in the original and explain away why original Breath of the Wild didn't really have much of that lore that did truly exist in the game in the first place. There's a lot of different directions Nintendo could take Breath of the Wild to, and honestly, I don't think they could go wrong as long as they follow the established formula from the original Breath of the Wild and improve upon the aspects that they were lacking in, this thing is a surefire hit. And for those of you who aren't familiar with 8-Bit Eric, I find that hard to believe. This guy's been around for a while. I've watched him since before I started YouTube myself, so it's kind of a dream come true to be able to do a collaboration with such a legend as 8-Bit Eric. But if you're not familiar with him, Eric, let him know who you are. Again, special thanks to Smash JT for having me over on his channel. If you guys would like to check out my content, 8-Bit Eric, on YouTube, definitely appreciate the chance, and I'll see you guys soon. We did the same thing over on his channel. Link will be in the description below. Make sure you check out my top five things that I want to see in Breath of the Wild 2. This was an absolute blast and a pleasure and more than anything, an honor to work with 8-Bit Eric on this collaboration. I want to know what you guys think about Breath of the Wild 2 and some of the things that you're looking forward to and hope that they add into this one. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, you stay smashing. Smash it,